Top 10 Arctic Animals. Before we get started, please support our channel and subscribe, like, and hit the bell for upcoming videos. Thank you. Let's get started. 1. The Arctic Hare, Lepus arcticus, is a species of hare which is highly adapted to living in the Arctic tundra and other icy biomes. The Arctic hare survives with shortened ears and limbs, a small nose, fat that makes up 20% of its body, and a thick coat of fur. It usually digs holes in the ground or under snow to keep warm and to sleep. Arctic hares look like rabbits but have shorter ears, are taller when standing and, unlike rabbits, can thrive in extreme cold. They can travel together with many other hares, sometimes huddling with dozens or more, but are usually found alone, sometimes taking more than one partner. The Arctic hare can run up to 40 miles per hour. 2. The snow owl, Bubos pandiacus, is a large, white owl of the true owl family. Snowy owls are native to Arctic regions in North America and Eurasia. Males are almost all white, while females have more flecks of black plumage. Juvenile snowy owls have black feathers until they turn white. The snowy owl is a ground nester that primarily hunts rodents and waterfowl, and opportunistically eats carrion. Most owls sleep during the day and hunt at night, but the snowy owl is active during the day, especially in the summertime. This yellow, eyed, black, beaked white bird is easily recognizable. It is 20 to 28 inches long, with a 59 inch wingspan. Also, these owls can weigh anywhere from 3.5 to 6.6 .6 pounds. The average lifespan in the wild is 10 years. It is one of the largest owl species of owl, and in North America it is on average the heaviest owl species. 3. The musk ox, Bogibus moschatus, in Latin, musky sheep, ox, is an arctic hoofed mammal of the family Bogidae, noted for its thick coat and for the strong odor emitted during the seasonal rut by males, from which its name derives. This musky odor is used to attract females during mating season. It's an uttered name you Ming Mac translates to the bearded one. Musk oxen primarily live in Greenland and the Canadian Arctic of the Northwest Territories and Nunavut, with introduced populations in the American state of Alaska, the Canadian Territory of Yukon, the Scandinavian Peninsula, and Siberia. 4. The Canada Lynx. Lynx canadensis, is a lynx species native to North America. It ranges across Canada and Alaska extending into the United States portion of the Rocky Mountains. It has been listed as least concern on the IUCN red list since 2002, with a dense silvery brown coat, rough face and tufted ears. The Canada lynx resembles the other species of the mid-sized feline genus lynx. It is slightly larger than a bobcat, with which it shares parts of its range, and over twice the size of the domestic cat. 5. The Beluga Whale, Delphinapterus lucus, is an Arctic and sub-Arctic cetacean. It is one of two members of the family Monodontidae, along with the narwhal, and the only member of the genus Delphinapterus. It is also known as the White Whale, as it is the only cetacean of this color. The sea canary, due to its high, pitched calls, and the melonhead, though that more commonly refers to the melon-headed whale, which is an oceanic dolphin. The beluga is adapted to life in the Arctic, so has anatomical and physiological characteristics that differentiate it from other cetaceans. Amongst these are its all, white color and the absence of a dorsal fin, which allows them to swim under ice with ease. It possesses a distinctive protuberance at the front of its head which houses an echolocation organ called the melon, which in this species is large and deformable. The beluga's body size is between that of a dolphin and a true whale, with males growing up to 18 feet long and weighing up to 3,530 pounds. This whale has a stocky body, like menacetaceans, a large percentage of its weight is blubber, subcutaneous fat, its sense of hearing is highly developed and its echolocation allows it to move about and find breathing holes under sheep ice. Belugas are gregarious and form groups of 10 animals on average, although during the summer, they can gather in the hundreds or even thousands in estuaries and shallow coastal areas. They are slow swimmers, but can dive to 700 to 2300 feet below the surface. They are opportunistic feeders and their diets vary according to their locations and the season. The majority of belugas live in the Arctic Ocean and the seas and coasts around North America, Russia and Greenland. Their worldwide population is thought to number around 150,000. They are migratory and the majority of groups spend the winter around the Arctic ice cap. When the sea ice melts in summer, they move to warmer river estuaries and coastal areas. Some populations are sedentary and do not migrate over great distances during the year. 6. The Arctic Fox, Vultz lagopus, also known as the White Fox, Polar Fox, or Snow Fox, is a small fox native to the Arctic regions of the Northern Hemisphere and common throughout the Arctic tundra biome. It is well adapted to living in cold environments, and is best known for its thick, warm fur that is also used as camouflage. In the wild, most individuals do not live past their first year but some exceptional ones survive up to 11 years. Its body length ranges from 18 to 27 inches, with a generally rounded body shape to minimize the escape of body heat. The Arctic fox preys on many small creatures such as lemmings, voles, ringed seal pups, fish, waterfowl, and seabirds. 
It also eats carrion, berries, seaweed, and insects and other small invertebrates. Arctic foxes form monogamous pairs during the breeding season and they stay together to raise their young in complex underground dens. Occasionally, other family members may assist in raising their young. Natural predators of the Arctic fox are golden. 7. The narwhal, Marnodon manaceres, or narwhal, is a medium-sized toothed whale that possesses a large tusk from a protruding canine tooth. It lives year-round in the Arctic waters around Greenland. Canada, and Russia. It is one of two living species of whale in the family Marnodontidae, along with the beluga whale. The narwhal males are distinguished by a long, straight, helical tusk, which is an elongated upper left canine. The narwhal was one of many species described by Carl Linnaeus in his publication Systema Naturae in 1758. Like the beluga, narwhals are medium-sized whales. For both sexes, excluding the male's tusk, the total body size can range from 13 to 18 feet. The males are slightly larger than the females. The average weight of an adult narwhal is 1,760 to 3,530 pounds. At around 11 to 13 years old, the males become sexually mature. Females become sexually mature at about 5 to 8 years old. Narwhals do not have a dorsal fin, and their neck vertebrae are jointed like those of most other mammals, not fused as in dolphins and most whales. Found primarily in Canadian Arctic and Greenlandic and Russian waters, the narwhal is a uniquely specialized Arctic predator. In winter, it feeds on benthic prey, mostly flatfish, under dense pack ice. During the summer, narwhals eat mostly Arctic cod and Greenland halibut, with other fish such as polar cod making up the remainder of their diet. Each year, they migrate from bays into the ocean as summer comes. In the winter, the male narwhals occasionally dive up to 4,920 feet in depth with dives lasting up to 25 minutes. Narwhals, like most toothed whales, communicate with clicks, whistles, and knocks. Narwhals can live up to 50 years. 8. The walrus, Adobinus rosmaris, is a large flippered marine mammal with a discontinuous distribution about the North Pole in the Arctic Ocean and subarctic seas of the Northern Hemisphere. The walrus is the only living species in the family Odobenidae and genus Adobinus. This species is subdivided into two subspecies, the Atlantic walrus, O. R. rosmaris, which lives in the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific walrus, O. R. divergens, which lives in the Pacific Ocean. Adult walrus are characterized by prominent tusks and whiskers, and their considerable bulk. Adult males in the Pacific can weigh more than 4,400 pounds, and, among pinnites, are exceeded in size only by the two species of elephant seals. Walruses live mostly in shallow waters above the continental shelves, spending significant amounts of their lives on the sea ice looking for benthic bivalve mollusks to eat. Walruses are relatively long, limb, social animals, and they are considered to be a keystone species in the Arctic marine regions. 9. The Arctic Tern, Sterneparadisia, is a tern in the family Leridae. This bird has a circumpolar breeding distribution covering the Arctic and sub Arctic regions of Europe, Asia, and North America, as far south as Brittany and Massachusetts. The species is strongly migratory, seeing two summers each year as it migrates along a convoluted route from its northern breeding grounds to the Antarctic coast for the southern summer and back again about six months later. Recent studies have shown average annual round trip lengths of about 44,100 miles. For birds nesting in Iceland and Greenland, and about 56,000 miles, for birds nesting in the Netherlands. These are by far the longest migrations known in the animal kingdom. The Arctic tern flies as well as glides through the air. It nests once every one to three years, depending on its mating cycle. Once it has finished nesting it takes to the sky for another long southern migration. Arctic terns are medium-sized birds. They have a length of 11 to 15 inches, and a wingspan of 26 to 30 inches. They are mainly gray and white plumaged, with a red, orangish beak and feet, white forehead, a black nape and crown, streaked white, and white cheeks. The gray mantle is 305 millimeters, and the scapulae are fringed brown, some tipped white. The upper wing is gray with a white leading edge, and the collar is completely white, as is the rump. The deeply forked tail is whitish, with gray outer webs. Arctic terns are long, lived birds, with many reaching 15 to 30 years of age. They eat mainly fish and small marine invertebrates. The species is abundant, with an estimated 1 million individuals. While the trend in the number of individuals in the species as a whole is not known, exploitation in the past has reduced this bird's numbers in the southern reaches of its range. 10. The polar bear, Ursus maritimus, is a hypercarnivorous bear whose native range lies largely within the Arctic Circle, encompassing the Arctic Ocean, its surrounding seas and surrounding land masses. It is a large bear, approximately the same size as the omnivorous Kodiak bear, Ursus arctus middendorfi, a boar, adult male, weighs around 772 to 1543 pounds, while a sow adult female, is about half that size. 
Polar bears are the largest land carnivores currently in existence, rivaled only by the Kodiak bear. Although it is the sister species of the brown bear, it has evolved to occupy a narrower ecological niche, with many body characteristics adapted for cold temperatures, for moving across snow, ice and open water, and for hunting seals, which make up most of its diet. Although most polar bears are born on land, they spend most of their time on the sea ice. Their scientific name means maritime bear, and derives from this fact. Polar bears hunt their preferred food of seals from the edge of sea ice, often living off fat reserves when no sea ice is present, because of their dependence on the sea ice. Polar bears are classified as marine mammals, because of expected habitat loss caused by climate change. The polar bear is classified as a vulnerable species. For decades, large-scale hunting raised international concern for the future of the species, but populations rebounded after controls and quotas began to take effect. For thousands of years, the polar bear has been a key figure in the material, spiritual, and cultural life of circumpolar peoples, and polar bears remain important in their cultures. Historically, the polar bear has also been known as the white bear. It is sometimes referred to as the nanook, based on the Inuit term nanook. Thanks for watching our channel. If you like this video, please comment and subscribe.